Well guys, today's tomorrow and I got everything all nailed up. Got nails going down, all the studs. So, yeah, it, there's a tropical storm warning right now. That's kind of gonna make it hard to film. Hopefully it won't come back. It's kind of laid off for now, so trying to knock this out. So now that you got all the plywood nailed up, this is normally when you would uh, put house wrap up, you know, kind of seal everything close up the gaps, all that kind of stuff. Nice moisture barrier. This house actually doesn't have any house wrap on it. You can see here where this uh, vinyl siding is broken. It's just the plywood underneath. Uh, so I'm definitely not gonna put house wrap on you know this uh, garage wall. I don't really see the need for it if uh, you know the house doesn't have it. What I am gonna use is some of this adhesive flashing. Uh, this is supposed to seal stuff pretty good, so I'm gonna put it on all these seams. You can see where I left the gap. That's for expansion and contraction, and the way I did that is just put nails in and, and gapped all the joints. So what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna do around the window where the window is gonna be, and just on that seam I think. If I have enough, maybe I'll do more of the seams, but we'll see. Maybe the top one, whatever. But this is actually pretty far under the eaves, and it, even though there's been hurricanes and everything. I, you know, I haven't gotten very much water in here, anyways. Plus, with the siding, it's not gonna. I, I don't think it's really gonna matter. Let's get to it before it starts pissing rain. So I'm just gonna start out on this window. Since I'm not doing house wrap, I don't think I'm gonna layer anything under underneath the window. But I, what I am gonna do is uh, do just the sill and overlap. And you should really angle this stud so if uh, water gets in there, it wants to shed off this way. I got this stuff used. I don't know if this is, or I didn't get it used. I actually got it from like an antique sh shop. You guys sell some tools and everything. So I guess this must have came in. I don't know if this is the right stuff to use in this application. The ones I've seen has the adhesive all the way across. This one has this flap. So I think I'm just gonna end up probably uh, taping that flap down or maybe siliconing it down. So what I'm gonna do is just peel this adhesive. And what I'm gonna do is, since this only has part of the adhesive on there, I'm gonna just overlap the adhesive and then fold the rest in. Try to make it somewhat straight here. And I'm just overlapping it like a half inch or so. Make sure it's on there real nice. Now I'm going to take my knife and just cut down this seam right here. Now to do this properly, uh, you should be working up if you want to do this whole window. So you start from the bottom, then you do these so, so it sheds over each one. You want it overlapping down so the water doesn't go inside, or it doesn't want to go inside at least. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be doing this, uh, this part. I don't really see the see the point to, to do the rest of this uh, in in this application. Now, if you're if you have drywall on the inside, that's catastrophic if you get water in there. So definitely wrap the whole thing. This is just mainly you know the way this is. I know the wind usually comes from the other way. You know, and, and to me it's not that big of a deal. I'll be putting it on the outside of the window though even though I will be silicone in it. But for the inside, I don't think it matters for this application. It's not that important. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do 
this seam, if I have leftover uh, pieces, I'll be doing the uh, downward seams also. And remember, if you're using this this uh, kind that only has half the adhesive, be sure you put the non-adhesive side down so water will shut off properly. Rub that in, make sure it's nice and adhesed. So now comes installing the window. What I'm going to do is dry fit it up to make sure everything fits, and then I'm going to put a bead of silicone around this nailing flange and nail it on. All right, so it just started lightly sprinkling, so I'm, I apologize for the camera angle, but I kind of really need to do this today. Uh, it's the last day of a uh, you know, a three-day weekend and I keep putting it off due to the rain. So we're gonna dry fit this up. Make sure it fits. It fits pretty good, there's hardly any play. I don't know if there should be play, but I'm gonna go grab a level. Okay, so we have it in, dry fit, just a little bit of play. I'm gonna throw my level on top, see what will need to happen once I get the uh, silicone on. This is it, it sitting normally, and gotta go from this side. And it looks like I just need to bring up, yeah, just need to bring up this corner just a little bit to make it level. Let's see about the other way here. Yep, yeah, so this corner just needs to go up a little bit to make it level. And everything else fits perfectly, which is really good. It's what you hope for. Um, I'm, I'm happy the way it came out. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Now that we got it dry fit, we know what we have to do to make it work. We're gonna take some of this uh, silicone. This is actually made for uh, window and door waterproofing. I wouldn't know what, what a good brand is, but this is DAP. Let's cut the tip off that. What I'm gonna be doing is just running a nice, good bead of silicone all the way around the inside of, of the nailing flange. Make sure it's on the inside. And I'm just butchering this silicone job here. Make sure you get it around the corners. That's pretty important. I'm gonna fit it up. And so now, since I dry fit it, I know that this side is gonna have to go up a little bit. So that's the side I'm gonna nail first. I'm gonna just rise it up and put it in. And I want to really press that in. Make sure the silicone's hitting. Maybe kind of rub it around a little bit. So now I'm going to throw my level back up there. It's probably going to fall in the head. Make sure that that's good. And yeah, that, that's level. <laughs> Got silicone in my mouth. Now I'm checking this side. <coughs> and there we go, that's level. 
So I'll put it. Don't shatter your glass here. Now for the triple check. Make sure we're still good. And we are. Okay. Also, take care to look. I mean, they look different on different windows. But up inside, uh, or underneath here, I'll get a close up. You can see these slots at the bottom. Make sure those are at the bottom. That's the way that moisture escapes. If for some reason any moisture gets in there, it'll escape through those little vents. Okay, so now I'm just gonna nail up the rest of this. I don't know if, if it really needs to be you could probably skip every other one. I'm gonna get the corners and then go every other one probably. But we'll see how secure it feels. I'm gonna nail this full top section because if moisture's gonna get in, that's probably where it's gonna be from. Even though I'm gonna put the house wrap or the flashing around that. You'll see what I mean in a second. Oh, whatever, I'm gonna go all the way around. Well, shit, it started raining again. But anyways, I'm gonna try to get this done. I got a little bit of Eve here. So, pretty much I'm gonna overlap everything on the outside now. So I'm just gonna measure a rough estimate. It's gonna be about uh, 28 inches. You know, I'm overshooting a little bit. So, I'm gonna throw this guy out. Put at 28. And I'm also going to strip that flap off of this to make it a little bit easier. Not a very good cut, but it'll do. going to do that again. Just gonna go, uh, let's say probably 40. Yeah, I'm gonna go 40 on this next one. This is gonna be for the top. Okay, so I'm gonna do the edges first here. I'm just gonna be overlapping. Yeah, so. Side now. Sure, you get the outside and the inside, get everything all sealed up. There we go. Now for the top one. And I believe that if you're using house wrap, all of this should be going on the inside of the house wrap. So the, out, the house wrap can overlap it. That way, it's uh, that extra barrier of protection there. There we go. Yep, you want everything to overlap from uh, top to bottom. What I mean by that is, you can see that top joint. The water's gonna start up here. If it gets down further, it's gonna go on top of this, not into it. The, the seam is going down. Water can't work up, but it goes down. So then it goes down, down, down to this seam. And it doesn't go into that one, it goes over top of it. And same thing goes with the house wrap and everything. You want it to over, overlap from the top down. That way, sheds water nice. You don't want it, the water to get forced inside of the wall. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this outside wall. I mean, 
I'm, I still got to do a video of uh, putting the vinyl up, but I'm going to do that at the end after I do the, uh, the garage and everything like that before I start doing the uh, finishing work. What more can I say? It's pretty simple. Uh, you know, you can do it with pretty simple tools. All you need is a straight edge, a hammer, some nails, a saw, and, you know, a tape measure. Really easy. You know, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not a woodworker some easy shit here. So the next video is probably going to be over there. I'll be putting in the garage, the little pony walls coming out and the, the garage itself. After that, it'll be the siding on all of this. It's going to be vinyl siding just like what's on the house. I've never done it before, but we'll learn together. Well, guys, if you like this video, you know, comment or if you hated it, comment what I did wrong. As always, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.